And Scarlett, Madison just mentioned that experts are saying the vaccine will start to be doled out in December. Now, at the same time, we're hearing that it's a surge in cases and that we're, we've also seen evidence that this came, the coronavirus was in the United States back in December 2019. Um, now, that gives more evidence that the coronavirus was spreading globally before it was reported, before the first cases were reported in China. And so this study identified that 106 infections from 7,000, over 7,300 blood samples collected by donors. Mm -hmm. uh, this is by the U.S. Red Cross. That was sent to the CDC. And I am just curious to know more details about this, about how they gathered, gathered the information um, and really what comes next now that we know this information that COVID-19 was in the U.S. sooner. Yeah, because up until now, the accepted narrative was that COVID began sometime in December 19, 2019 in Wuhan, China, which is kind of like the Midwest of China. The country tried to keep it really quiet under temps and word eventually got out in January, but the rest of the world thought it was a Chinese issue, kind of like mm -hmm. um, different viruses that had cropped up in that country before. So it really begs the question if it Maybe it didn't originate in China. Maybe it originated somewhere else. And that we've is been a good thinking question. that it's been a, a China source virus all along. Right. Well, it is. And it's worth noting that this is not the first batch of evidence showing that the virus could have entered the U.S. before uh, 2020 or even before China, um, before, before China saw so. So a patient in France uh, was found to have contracted this um, virus after being hospitalized with flu like symptoms back in December. That was at the end mm. of December. And this contradicted, of course, official statistics that showed that COVID-19 reached the country from people returning from Wuhan, just as you say. A lot to get your head around here, especially as we look back to those crazy days of December 2019, early 2020. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.